Okay, we've all been here before, right? You get a shoe in, you really want to love it. You really want to love it. But it just doesn't work out for you. You see that stack behind me? Yeah, we'll go through the top three pairs. And they're, they're recent pickups. Well, at least two of them that just didn't work out in the end. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back. Another video on Talks with TJ. And I guess I gotta... Yeah, so we're, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna have this moment right now. And I'm self-aware to admit that these pairs just don't work for me. It could possibly be the shape of my foot, but I think it's also just the shape of some of these pairs. And then inconsistent sizing for two of the different models. So we'll get to that. And this is actually inspired by a video that Eddie Wynn did on like the top five, just uncomfortable pairs or pretty much like regrets in picking up uh, those sneakers. So I don't necessarily regret them in terms of the style. I love the style. I still love the aesthetic of these pairs just they don't work for my feet. And it's funny because right now I'm reading The Paradox of Choice and no joke, there is an entire section in this book that talks about all of us having a pair of shoes in our closet and we just refuse to let go of them. Like we got them in and they're uncomfortable, but we refuse to give them away probably because of what we paid for them or the fact that once we get a pair in or get anything in our possession, we really just take ownership of it and we don't want to let it go. That's actually something psychologically that all of us possess. And then if it's, you know, the higher that we've paid for that shoe, the less likely we are to get rid of it. And then, and, you know, we try to make it work. We shove it to the back of the closet after a while and yeah, like it never gets worked into rotation. And I'm, I'm okay to admit, I just dealt with that recently yeah just dealt with that recently and i think as time has gone on the value of a shoe a lot of it is rooted in comfort now for me i don't know if it's because i work from home and so i'm just super spoiled and i want everything comfortable for myself no matter what like head to toe but comfort plays a really big part and if my feet feel cramped they just don't feel comfortable i just don't think the pair is going to work so yeah all right, let's just go ahead and kick this off. Who remembers these, right? You remember these? The New Balance 5740, okay, rain cloud. I was so excited to get these in, right? Now, if you guys remember, I own another pair of New Balances, okay? I own another pair of the 5740. I own the Pride pair, and that was advised to go down a half size because they ran rather big, and the five and a half works for that pair. It doesn't cramp my feet. I'm good there. So I thought, oh, I'll do the same thing with the uh, the rain cloud pair. I'll do the exact same thing. That was like the worst decision ever because this fits like a real five and a half, which means it doesn't fit my foot well. Uh, it's, it's actually just... Yeah, it's actually rather tight and I had to just admit that after having the shoe. I think I tried to wear it like one more additional time past the video, uh, but you still can see like there's not <laughs> really wear on it I, I i i tried it um yeah so it's like a new pair that fits like a, a five and a half i have regrets okay this regret you may not expect at all it just kind of hangs out in my closet now if you watched me some years ago i think probably 2018 then maybe you remember me finally getting a hold of this pair um i was excited for it they're perfect for fall especially with gray sweats but um when it comes down to, I think, just the, the inconsistent fit, but probably just the standard fit for this retro, and that's right, I'm talking about the 8, the Bugs Bunny 8. It's never comfortable on foot. Like, it just squeezes the sides of your feet. And with some models, I don't care if you go up. Eventually, all it does is lengthen the shoe. It doesn't widen the shoe for you. So it kind of just becomes a, a, a waste. So, yeah, I hate admitting this. I really do because it's such a clean pair that I was able to pick up. Uh, you, I mean, you can see here. So I went true to size and got a six and it's just, it's just way, way, way too uncomfortable. Again, beautiful pair. Now I also own the um, DB8s and those seem to fit better than these. So I just, I'm not sure why. 
Now, maybe it could be the material because those are, you know, it has a suede new buck upper versus this just being straight leather. And another friend, she said, you know what? Don't feel bad about that. I have eights and I never wear them because they're not comfortable. So yeah, the Bugs Bunny eight is another pair I unfortunately regret. It's literally fresh up on the channel. That's right. The Fear of God seven collection duck boot. I regret it. I'm not, I've, I've already made peace with the fact I'm not going to try to squeeze my foot into this shoe and hope that it works out and hope that it loosens up and hope that it breaks in. My feet should not feel like they're in a vice, especially for what I paid or what the shoe retails for. So yeah, it's a regret. Now it's not a regret where, oh my God, I spent money and I can't get it back and I'm hurting. No, it's not like that. It's just a lesson learned that even with your favorite brands, everything isn't going to fit you well. And you have to accept that. I know better now. There are just quite a few mainline pairs that I probably need to shy away from. The Fear of God California we know works really, really well for me, but getting that doesn't work. I have the Skate Mid and that one works for me, but this boot, this boot's a no-go. So the funny enough, the Bugs Bunny 8, those are actually posted on uh, eBay right now. And I'm probably going to end up posting the New Balance pair, selling that at a discount for people, somebody just to get a really good deal. And then I think the same thing is eventually gonna happen with the duck boot. Uh, there's just no sense in me holding on to it. And you know, for a lot of pairs, I end up donating them. Like I really do. I have so many pairs in my closet right now where I, I hit friends up and I say, hey, especially with it being back to school, do you know any kid that could be able to fit these? It really does save their parent like money to have to you know buy a new pair because I keep my shoes in really good condition. So I'm already doing that with some other models in my closet, especially models that won't hold any resale value. And even then I don't sell my shoes to beat anybody over the head just to get them gone. And I probably get something else in the collection or I can probably use that money towards something else. But those are my three regrets in terms of fit. So it's not regret in terms of even the cost or the regret in terms of how they look or not going with my style. I just regret them because they don't fit me well. Nothing I can do about that now other than try to move them out. But uh, go ahead and comment below. What are some pairs that you picked up? It can be recently or over the last year where you really wanted them to work, but either the fit was so inconsistent by the brand uh, across model to model or colorway to colorway, they just didn't work for you. Uh, or just, you know, hey, you got a pair in and it's the most uncomfortable thing you've ever tried on. Go ahead, drop a comment. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.